Okay, now that we've done the basic uh, and the spreadsheets, I'm going to show you something that's uh, a little bit different. It's, it's real, really simple. It goes right along the lines of uh, what we've been doing. Uh, but for this one, go down to the, uh, the test tab down here. So the second worksheet down there, it says tests. And this one uh, has some tests for different people. And we're going to do averages. And this is really simple. Um, we want to know what Bob got as uh, an average for his three tests. So we go back to the formulas, click on the formulas button, and go to average. And just like the sum, it's going to automatically choose the, th the numbers next to it. Just hit enter. And there's Bob's average for his three tests. And you copy that down. And you have averages for all three. Now usually we don't go to three decimal places when we do tests. So if you click back on your home button and you come over here and there's um, the increased decimal and decreased decimal. Uh, we don't want three decimal places. We usually don't even go two decimal places. Usually for something like this we'll just go one decimal place. So we'll just have one decimal place for this. And then teachers like to know how you know what the average is on a test. You know, how did the whole class do it on an average? So another thing we could do is go back to our formulas, click on average, hit enter, and then drag that across. And we don't really need to know the average of all the tests. So we'll just uh, do the three tests individually, and then we can go back to our home tab and again decrease those. We can go one decimal place. So you can see what that average is. And that's pretty much it. We're not going to graph this one. I showed you how to do the graphing. So that's basically it. Down here on the temperature, basically the same thing. You click on the average uh, temperature for January, and same thing. Click on average. here, same thing, average, and we're not going to go any decimal places for these, so we're just going to make these, we usually don't talk about temperature in terms of decimal places, so we're just going to go zero decimal places for this. Alright, so um, and that's it. If we wanted to graph that, we could. And there you can see the averages for each month as they go through the year. And you've probably seen something like this before. Obviously, the summer months are going to be warmer than the winter months. So that's pretty much it.